So winter is here and it's cold. So how can you help keep your outdoor or stray cats stay warm and safe? Coming up. Hi there and welcome to my Cat Crazy channel. We live in sunny California, but even here it can get pretty cold at night during winter time. Healthy cats can deal with a little bit of cold weather okay-ish, but if it is raining and snowing and if they get soaked and the rain gets through their coat and their skin gets wet, then they could get sick and you don't want that. And if you are feeding stray cats, then you probably thought about how to give them shelter when the weather is rough. Of course, you can go to Amazon and find a wide variety of outdoor housing. Some of them are even heated, which is awesome. However, we all live in pretty tough times right now, so you might not be inclined to spend any extra money. So here's a little fun project that won't cost you anything but some gaffer's tape, which most of us have at home anyways. It's not a designer cat house, that's for sure, but it is functional and that's what counts, right? Plus, this can be a lot of fun if you want to build something with your kids, since we're all so much at home right now and it will only take you an hour to do or so. And you can get really creative if you want. You can build a fort or you can build a castle. Your kids will totally love to build one of those. And the one I'm showing you today is as basic as it gets. First, we need a cardboard box. Well, most of us are getting more and more deliveries from Amazon. So save a nice one for your outdoor kitty. Choose a bigger size box so that kitty can cuddle up and turn around in it. And then cut two holes in the long sides so that she has an entry and an exit in case a predator shows up and she needs to escape quickly. Then use any packing material you can find and best would be something like styrofoam and, and put it on the bottom of the inside of the box and also the four sides of the inside. Leave the entry and exit open of course and if you have an old blanket or towels, then put them on the bottom uh, of the inside where the styrofoam is, on top of the styrofoam to make it softer. The styrofoam will insulate well and keep the cat warm. If you have leftover clear plastic or bubble wrap, then use those as doors and secure with duct tape again. Use double duct tape on the bottom to make it heavier so that it easily flaps open but doesn't open just with a breeze of some kind of wind coming in. The plastic we used was uh, from a box of bed sheets. So there you go. Doesn't have to be expensive, as I said. Now that the doors are in place, you have to make your new cat house water safe. Use old plastic wrapping from something you bought, bubble wrap or some trash bags. Again, use duct tape to make sure all is nice and tight. The cardboard box has to be completely wrapped in plastic so that it doesn't get wet. If you have any more styrofoam left, then build a little awning and tape over the entrance and the exit since the rain and snow can sometimes get in when it's windy because then it's not going just down but this way. So this way uh, it all stays mostly dry inside. And voila! Your kitty house is ready! Uh, put it on an elevated spot again to make it secure and put more styrofoam or something else underneath the box to give it some air and make it sturdy. We put some leftover fake grass underneath and put the box on a planter we are no longer using. I showed the cat house to our outdoor cat Onyx in the morning when he got his breakfast and he was curious but didn't go in yet. However, the next morning I found him in there still sleeping when I came to feed him. This is a first. He, was, uh, he has been using it ever since. What 
is TNR, a space program that involves cats as astronauts, a program that stands for Trap and Remove, cat jewelry made out of gemstones, or a program that stands for Trap, Neuter and Return. So here's the answer to the quiz of the day. TNR stands for Trap, Neuter, Return, or Trap, Neuter, Release, which is a method for humanely and effectively manage free-roaming domestic cats. The process involves live trapping the cats, having them spayed or neutered, ear tipped for identification, and vaccinated, then releasing them back into their territory. I did an episode about this a year ago when uh, we visited Fix Nation here in Los Angeles, and I'll make a follow up episode with the co founder Karn Maris very soon. So stay tuned on this one. And now, check this out! Look at this! This is a wonderful scarf looking like my little onyx. This is, this is handmade uh, from Tanya in Kiev, um, uh, Ukraine. So thank you, Tanya. I love this. So if you would love a beautiful scarf like this, then just, you know, hit the link below that I put uh, below the uh, video and uh, check it out. She has all kinds of colors and everything. So that's all for today, you wonderful cat people. Thank you all so much for your support. Now hit that like button below and subscribe and maybe you can catch some cat luck. And don't forget, cats rule and so do you.